The airport fire is burning far north of the San Diego County line, but the impacts are being felt here. So in San Diego County, um, the smoke, you know, that people are smelling or seeing uh, is coming from the Orange County Airport fire. That fire has pretty much climbed over the Santa Ana Mountains and is now trying to go down the backside of the mountains, uh, which actually is Riverside County. Alex Tardy is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. He says wind patterns are pushing smoke into the Inland Empire and northern San Diego. So two things happen. At night, the smoke will settle down to the ground. During the day, the smoke is almost like opening up your windows. The smoke likes to get out and, and, and go where it wants to go. But the prevailing wind is controlled by the weather pattern. The airport fire between Orange and Riverside counties has consumed over 22,000 acres. The vegetation that is burning is near record dry levels, and the cooler weather we're getting now isn't making much of a difference. You're still going to have some of that fire exposed to drier air, um, but overall, all areas, no matter which fire you're talking about, are going to be experiencing cooler temperatures and higher humidity. So that is um, good news uh, in terms of allowing the firefighters to get a handle on these fires hopefully by Friday. Tardy says smoke will remain in the air and get worse the further north you head in Southern California. This caused the San Diego Air Pollution Control District to issue a warning about air quality for the inland and northern regions. Basically advising you know the public and everyone uh, to monitor the conditions and, and maybe reduce activities outdoors as you can. Multiple agencies are fighting the airport fire, including Cal Fire. Mike Cornett is a fire captain with the agency. So anytime that we're getting a, a wildland fire, uh, you're not seeing just solely one fire department taking care of it. It's a team effort in the state. It's a team effort in this county. It, it's a regional approach to try to keep these fires as small as we can to keep them out of communities and uh, protect as much life and property as, as, as we're able to. He says that includes protection of the surrounding communities experiencing secondhand effects. Anytime that you get that uh, a lot of haze in the air and you start seeing that smoke, it's it's best to stay inside. Make sure that your uh, air conditioning is on so it it's in a, almost like a recirculation uh, in your home. So that it's going to recirculate the air in there and go through the filter. So that's going to keep the uh, air clean. For up to date updates on the fires burning throughout the state, you can visit fire.ca.gov. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.